and welcome to my workshop. On this channel, I'll be posting projects that I do in my workshop and on my land. There will be a variety of projects from sawmilling, woodworking, and mechanical maintenance. I will also be reviewing tools, materials, and work gear. Today we're going to take a look at how the new deck project is coming along. Built the house and the deck back in 2002, 2003 and it's time to make some changes on that deck. It's getting a little old. So I started by taking down the railings and the back stairs. Got a nice pry bar from Home Depot that helped me pry all these boards up, nice, nice. Took down the posts. The back of the deck is going to come out 16 feet and be 14 feet wide. After I got the back deck all out of the way, I was able to get underneath with the tractor and scrape out the dirt, exposing the old French drains, and I hooked up the back gutter to it. Cleaned out around the pipes, added some filter fabric, and some half inch stone. Smoothed it all out, came out nice. Everything drains really well now. Started reframing the back deck. Squaring up the back deck, the mock-up of the railing on the left there. Everything's square, started adding the posts. I will lag bolt or through bolt all the posts after the railings are finished. Adding the first of many decking boards that I cut last year and milled up in my shop over the winter and pre-stained them. They are white oak, red oak, and hickory. Let them run a little long, and then ran a string to trim them to length. Used clamps to help with some of the boards that needed a little uh, straightening out before fastening them down. Almost finished with all the decking in the field. Just have some divider boards that I gotta cut in. Started putting up the wild hog railing. Starting to look a little bit like a deck. Trim the edges, putting in the blocking. Here I'm routering the boards that hold in the wild hog railing system. I routed all four edges of every deck board before installing and staining. And gave them a quick coat of stain on all four sides. And you can see how I sandwiched in the railing between the two skirt boards on the outside edge. So all the boards have one coat of stain on them. And when I'm done with the deck, I will power wash the whole deck and add a second coat. Here you see I'm finishing up the front near the stairs. I left that little bit for the end of the project so we could still get in and out of the house. 
And here you can see I got my saw stuck in one of the posts, hickory posts, cutting it free with my multi-tool, the anti-vibration fin in the saw blade opened up, allowing the wood to get in between, stopping the saw dead in its tracks. went on either side of the grain. That's crazy. Can you see that? How the blade's bent? Right there. Okay, so you can see I cut those boards short from the outside rim joists. I added in some blocking every two feet so I could screw down the two boards that sandwich the wild hog railing. So the railing sits on top of the PT and allows drainage to go right through the deck instead of just routering a groove for the railing to sit in, which would trap water and debris. This way the water runs right through and the debris falls out the bottom. solar lights for the post caps finishing up the last little bit of decking near the front entrance to the driveway Checking the overhang and adding three drilled holes. And here we are in my shop. The posts are four and three quarters of an inch square, because that's the biggest or well, the thickest material my chop box can cut. I'm beveling the bottom so when you're under the deck in the back, it gives it a little bit more of a finished look instead of just a blunt end from a bevel on all four sides. You see the remainder of the deck boards behind me on the floor. That pile was much bigger before the deck started. Could barely get around the shop.
boards are all trimmed up. Just add a few more pieces of blocking. Before adding the last two posts. Pre-stain the bottom that's inside the framing to help protect the wood. Just tapping it into place, checking for level, and then fastening with a couple of screws to keep it plumb. Had the screw already started on the outside, you just had to finish it off. Post moved a little bit, check it for level one more time. Just installing the blocking for the edge boards. I got a 90 degree angle attachment on my drill to screw in these blockings. A little tricky. I got in there. routering and pre-staining the skirt boards that sandwich the railing. I should say the hog wire. Turning the skirt board to width. Rounding over the edge. Cutting to length. Rounding over the ends. See, I got them installed or in place and screw them down to the blocking that I put in earlier. I leave a 3 8 of an inch gap between the two boards for the railing to sit into. You can hear that in the background, but my neighbor's son is having fun on his dirt bike. to see the shake as my space for the gap.
So these are white oak strips that I use at the ends of the wild hog railing up against the post. I was ripping on the table saw, and now I'm just rounding over one front edge. I pre-drill five holes in each one. I'm doing two at the same time here. Stain them up. Install them on the posts on the outside. Install the wild hog railing. and do the interior strip. I pre-drill again into the post so I don't snap any screws. Doing the last section, installing the outside piece first. You can see these two posts closest to the camera are about 36 inches apart. I'm gonna have a little decorative stairway going down into the garden. Project. Here I'm making the little filler pieces on the outside skirt board to fill in in front of the posts. Now 
not the typical way of trimming around the posts, but it made the installation of the decking easier. Rounding over the edges. little pocket hole jig so I can add the screws from underneath. This is how I fastened the blocks together for the corner posts. So the first step, the larger drill bit, gave me an access point for the screw head. And then I use the smaller, longer drill bit to pre-drill into the second piece of wood. So I don't snap any screws. clamp, hold them together. send in the screws. This worked really nice. So you can see how they fit around the post. And this is just a single piece on a straightaway, pre-drilled, add a screw, done. Try not to drop anything. And there we go, not too shabby. Kind of like it. Okay, that's a wrap on this video. On the next video, I will show you how I did the handrails, 
I will pressure wash the deck and apply the sealer. If you like this video, hit subscribe and share with the friends. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time here.